I recently went to Williston, North Dakota, where the oil industry has made it a boom town. Well, guess what else is booming? The police department. So I went on patrol with Corporal Caleb Fry of the Sheriff's Department. Now, the first thing we did was fire up the radar to see if we'd get us a speeder. Now, they see you. They're going to go slow. You'd be surprised. Well, it was slim pickings at first, but then Caleb got one. They're moving. This got 51. Yeah, I'll stop them. Are you going to stop that yeah, one? Yeah. It's always fun when it ain't you. <laughs> Boy, everybody pulled over. You got five of them. Dispatch, SO4955. Upon closer inspection, it would look like Caleb was just trying to get the cutest little thing that was speeding. Christy, Larry, the cable guy. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm riding with the police today. Oh, how's that going for you? Well, we was looking for somebody to pull over, and you was going over the speed limit. Oh, no. You need to slow down. Why? You was going 10 miles over the speed limit. Six. How about was she going six? Six. We pulled her over for going six. The good okay. news for you is we just giving you a warning. <laughs> That's it. But at least we didn't pull over some snaggletooth. We pulled over a pretty girl. <laughs> you know how to pull them over. Here's what I might have to do now. I'm going to have to frisk you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I ain't gonna do it. Okay. All right, slow her down. Have a good day, and Do Christy. me a favor. Clean that back seat. Our speed trap was a bust, but then suddenly we came upon a suspicious vehicle. Hey, what's this? Dispatch 4955. I don't know. We're gonna check it out. Well, be careful. So what I'd done was I secured the perimeter as Caleb approached the vehicle. How we doing? Can you get your window for me? So I looked for evidence of foul play. And I found a shoe. Oh, no, a shoe. Looks like murder's afoot. No, not murder. You know what he was doing? Guess. Bird watching. You ever bird watched? <laughs> That's worse than murder. I have a cop in training today. That's Larry, ain't it? Yeah, you know him, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, he's an old shoe. That ain't your old no, shoe, man. I got both mine. What you been doing down here? How you doing, buddy? nails. Nice to uh, meet you, sir. You too, man. You too. We're looking for some criminals. You'll find them here. I know. We thought we just found one, but <laughs> you're a good dude, so it ain't you. Unless you got a dead body back here somewhere. No. Nope. <laughs> Come on. So what you looking for, bald eagles? Yeah, golden eagles. You guys are younger than I thought you were. I'm 18. Are you? You know what? You're a lot older than I thought you'd be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there was one place I was guaranteed to see some criminals, the county jail. So this is actual jail? You're in jail. How many cells you got? 112. Really? How many people is it occupied? What do we got, about 95? Right? Um, you got 95 uh, folks in jail? Huh? Now, here's the other side of a boom town. You know, they've doubled the size of their police department in just a few years. And I ain't talking waste either. So they took me up to the observation tower to have a look at some of the folks who wound up on the other side of the law. Oh, can they see in here? No, they can see a shadow. But they can't see nothing. No, they, they can't see anything. <laughs> Unless you're standing in front of a light. <laughs> oh, can they see that? <laughs> see, he's watching the light. He can see the light. Well, he can't see me. No. It looks like he's looking right at me. Oh, boy, look. Are you, they're looking. Yeah, because they see the light. So, See, and then we have the female Hey, part. here's the female population. Yep. Doggone, I thought we'd see a, some sort of a cat fight going on or something. You want me to take you down to one of them cells so you can look up in these windows and see what they can see? No, I'm all right. <laughs> that girl beat the hell out of me. <laughs> That's another reason I'm thankful for law enforcement. I mean, them folks are scary looking, blurred out or not. <laughs> 